So uh, I wanted to start by talking a little bit about um, your background. Um, was higher education something that your family valued? I mean, I grew up in you know, poor rural Louisiana. I was the first person in my family to get a college degree. Uh, so it was very foreign to both my family and my extended family to, to potentially go to college. But as I continued to get a little older and, and make my way through school, teachers always pushed and it was just always when you go to college instead of if. So you are a graduate of the LSU College of Engineering. What is something that you learned there that you've carried with you through your career? You know, all engineers aren't created equal. There's something about LSU that is a lot more than just a technical type degree. It seems that when you meet uh, LSU engineers out there, they always move into management. So that was one thing that the instructors did at LSU that really prepared us for the real world, number one. Taught us how to be self-starters and allowed us to develop those skills to get into management, which means you figure everything out and you get things done. What are some of your career highlights and what advice do you have for aspiring engineers? I don't even know if I've hit the highlights yet. I don't know if I've, I've lived the highlights yet because it seems that every day, every month brings something new that I just couldn't imagine what happened. Uh, you, you look at the you, you look at the last few years. You know, I moved from um, operations or, or straight operations in public company to being a CEO in private equity. You truly can do anything. So just pick something that you, you think you're going to enjoy and, and run with it. Why do you think higher education in general is an important investment? And what do you think sets LSU apart from other universities? It's really like hitting the lottery. Uh, th there is no way to advance your wealth and your legacy, the, you, the, the, your wealth legacy for generations to come better than going to college. If you can go to LSU, it's really the best engineering degree that you can get for several states around. And it's also gonna be the most cost-effective engineering degree that you can get. And that's why as we looked at our giving, LSU got the lion's share of it because we could educate more kids per dollar at LSU than, than any place else that we looked at. Why were you drawn to creating a scholarship? But I remember the struggles, and even when I was in school, I worked up to three jobs to be able to afford to live and go to school. And that's why we specified the endowment is for um, Louisiana kids based on need. If we can get one kid into college that couldn't afford it, that, that's a huge win. And, and you've also just broke the poverty cycle. And hopefully it helps motivate them to help the next kid that's coming up that can't afford the college because once they're out 20, 30 years, they're gonna understand that this degree really is life-changing for them currently and it's, it's really a generational change for their descendants. I know that you also support TAF and athletics. Um, how do you think that the enthusiasm for LSU athletics feeds into that enthusiasm for LSU academics? I was a tiger for life after that first football game. You know, when, when you go to that first LSU football game, you, you know that, that you're home. And, and there, there is such spirit around, you know, that program. It makes it so much bigger than the 30,000 kids that just go there every year. It's four million people from the state that's all pulling the same direction. This is our way to try and better the, the state, not just LSU. I can't think of any better way to do it than educating kids and hopefully the kids will be able to stay there at some time or maybe when they start businesses they start it there and they'll really start the, the entire state on the road to prosperity.